Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back. In this video segment, I'm going to show you how to adjust the headlights on a 2004 Crown Victoria. And I'm going to show you the way that I actually do it that really helps. And I hope this video is helpful to you. If you're not a subscriber, just hit that button to become a subscriber right away. So let's begin. The first thing I want to do, I want to identify the center of the vehicle. And what I'm gonna do is mark it on the wall. So you definitely need some drywall tape because you do not want to mark anything on your wall permanently. So this tape is great. And we're gonna start with the center. And I'm gonna go by the ember, the forward. That is the center of the grill. I'm just gonna make a straight line all the way up. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure the corner of the big head. We're gonna measure both sides. And you want to make sure your front wheel is straight as possible. So what I like to do is get an object. It doesn't matter what you get. As long as you have something you can actually measure with. And that's why you want to get the vehicle close enough to the wall. I believe we're perfectly straight. And then we will take a yardstick or anything that's straight. And we just want to kind of mark the wall as we go. And we'll do the same on the right. Now keep in mind, this is just the edge of the vehicle. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure the center of the headlight bulb to the floor. Make sure your tires are properly inflated before you measure your headlight. So it looks like we have 27 and a half inches. So what we wanna do, we want to come over here to the wall. We want to mark the wall 27 and a half inches on our passenger side. 27 and a half inches. Then we're going to come all the way across. This will be our horizontal. What we want to do now, we want to back the vehicle back 25 feet from the wall. So that's why it was important to have your wheel perfectly straight so we can just back it straight back. This is pretty much the chalk that you want. You have your vertical and you have your horizontal. We really don't need this. Wanna lift the hood? What you will find is this cover right here and you have three lots. And it tells you right here in the center which way to turn those lots. You have one here. We have one in this corner. We're gonna pull up on the panel. And just take your time. I'm gonna walk over to our headlights. And if you have not seen the headlight lens replacement and you want to replace your headlight lens, Make sure you see my video on that. Now, we are behind the headlights. We got adjustment here and we have one here. Now this one here is just basically a mount. Now, this is the two that you need. This is the part number, price range, and you can get it from just about anywhere. From your local auto parts store to online, Amazon, you name it. And that's pretty much the only tool you're actually gonna need. Now, you may need this tool here if the section behind the adjustment tool is actually, if it's turning with it. If it's turning with it, you can use your pliers to actually hold that black garment section right behind the adjustment. It's more like a lock. Now, I beg you, please do not use pliers or channel locks on the adjusting screw because you would just damage it. And you may feel like you can use a, a, a four millimeter. I have a five thirty second here and it fits perfectly. It's a six point and I have a flat uh, quarter inch ratchet. But the problem is you can only use this if you're adjusting left and right. But once you get your adjustment right, 
uh, chances are you won't be able to get this tool out. So uh, you want to stay away from this also. And to save you some headaches, just take time to actually get this tool and uh, your job will go a whole lot easier. So now we have a 25 feet from the wall. Now I'm gonna turn on my headlights and I have put on brand new headlights. So I know the reading would definitely be off. As you can see, the right side is much lower than the left side. I'm gonna just one headlight at a time. So you wanna block off the headlight, but you do not wanna cover the headlight because these headlights can actually build up heat and you don't wanna damage the light from above. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put the object in front just to block each side since we're gonna start with the right side since it's extremely low. So what I'm gonna do, of course, we need our tool, and we're going to start with the height, and then we're going to go over to adjust our left and right side. If it's needed, we can adjust it right here. So when you want to turn, turn your wrench a certain way, and if you want to, you decide to turn it another way, all the thing you have to do is just turn the tool over and turn it the opposite way. And keep an eye on this section here. If this section happens to turn, use a pair of pliers to actually hold it in place. To raise your height, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. It's going up. Just continue to turn counterclockwise. Guys, I wanna say this because I am all about my subscribers and viewers. Make sure you keep your old headlight land. If you replace your headlight land and you're trying to make adjustments, do not throw away this old headlight land until you actually make adjustments with your new headlight. When I was making adjustments, my up and down adjustment actually popped out. So I had to go to my original headlight land and remove the adjuster from that one. And I'm gonna use it on my new headlight lamp. So that's something I just want you to be aware of. Do not toss away your old headlight lamp until you complete your adjustment on your new headlight lamp. Going up. Now we're gonna block the right side and raise the left side. Turn it counterclockwise. So that's perfect right there. Well, this is exactly what you want. This is the final results. And we see that our left headlight is a tad bit lower than our right headlight. And as far as the side, we actually went further over our right headlight actually covering more area than our left headlight. So we push our left headlight over a little bit, and of course you need some visibility over to your left. So this should work. Now, I wanna point this out, and I want you to be aware. The left side, I was very pleased with that. I had no problem with it. But the right side, I had some, a small little issue. In order for me to get the right side just right, uh, the land had to be, it was coming out just a little bit more so than the left side. And that can easily happen in order for you to get the adjustment just right. And that's what's important. And I just want you to be aware. I don't want you to think you're doing anything wrong, but I just wanted to point that out to you. Hey, keep in mind, most of these parts come from China. Nothing against China. But hey, at the market parts, you can expect some changes. You want to install back your cover? Now, the true test is gonna to be to drive it at night and you just wanna make sure that you actually can see in the dark and you have no issues. So that's the true test, night driving. Well, let's go for a test drive. So far, so good. 
Oh, this is so much better. You can see the whole highway without any problems. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. It's free. Take care and God bless.